Hello friends, this is Sonu and today we will discuss about the vitamin E. As we know that the vitamin E also belongs to the fat soluble, the four vitamins belong to the fat soluble A, D, E and K. So A and D already we discussed and E today we will discuss, the next time we will discuss vitamin K and then we will finish uh, fat soluble then further move in a water soluble vitamin. So today we let's discuss about the vitamin E. Actually vitamin E is the collectively referred from the two types of subgroup or we can say two group. That is the tocopherol and the tocotrienol. The tocopherol is further subdivided into four groups, alpha, beta, gamma and delta. And the tocotrienol also belong to uh, mm, will subgroup that is the alpha, beta and gamma and the delta. So we can say the eight group of the vitamin E. It's collectively the eight group and then it's make the we can say vitamin E. Now we'll discuss about that the alpha, beta, de, uh, delta and the gamma. So let's talk about first alpha. Actually the mostly active in the human body or we can say biologically active. This is the alpha tocopherol. So alpha, uh, this is biologically active. So out of the all eight vitamin E subgroup, only alpha tocopherol is a biologically active and all are also we can say it's uh, perform in a human body like a vitamin E but the alpha tocopherol is the most importantly uh, biologically active. And about the gamma, actually in the gamma tocopherol, in some book is written that in the North American diet, it's a very rich amount upon the gamma tocopherol. So, very rich uh, diet found in North North American North American diet. Maybe in some question asked that the uh, out of the all tocopherol which types of subgroup of the tocopherol is found in the North American diet so on the time just you have to remember that the gamma is very rich found in the North American diet this is not for the we can say in a clinical purpose but for you um, for the remembering and maybe in some question they have they will ask that's why just you have to remember so let's forward this and let's uh, concentrate on the alpha tocopherol because this is the active Uh, or we can say biologically active vitamin E and uh, now we'll discuss about that how it's performed the function this is the we can say chemical structure actually tocopherol we can say that is the derivative of 6 hydroxychromate ring so let's write here that according to the chemistry 6 hydroxychromate ring chromate ring and due to the chromatin ring, it has very potent antioxidant properties due to this ring. So that's why this also uh, important information that we have to know. So now let's uh, discuss about the first function that how perform the function in the body. Because as we know that the vitamin E is the very, uh, we can say very useful vitamin or very oftenly used in, in daily life. So first function, the very potent antioxidant and anti-sterility. Anti-sterility means we can understand that it's prevent to the infertility. So that's why anti-sterility properties. Due to having the antioxidant properties, the all functions are depend on the antioxidant properties. If they lose the or we lack the antioxidant properties, the all function become inhibited or all, all function will very slowly work. So antioxidant properties next due to the antioxidant properties it's a stabilize the free radical and reaction uh, reactant oxygen species how let's talk about first of all the free radical what is the free radical so briefly we'll talk about free radical free radical or we can say reactive oxygen species free radical actually free radical we can say it's a waste product We'll not talk about here deeply biochemistry or uh, we can say reactions. Just for the understanding purpose, 
we can say that the free radical is the waste product during the metabolization or during the we can say chemical reactions it produce the or that is called free radical actually free radical in a normal amount it's a good for the health how because the in it kills the some pathogen for example bacteria some viruses and some other microorganism but whenever it's increase in the body or whenever it's a move uh, very we can say high concentration so then it's very toxic it can damage our cell membrane it can uh, we can say uh, capture the dna and dna will function by the free radical so it's very 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 we can say um, bad for the human body how it's increase it's increase actually during the uh, mainly it's increased during the external uh, external environment like the very polluted pollution or we can say uh, very uh, any person who is smoking very very high concentration of the smoking and maybe some other toxic problem can lead to some other uh, vegetable or some other foods can lead to the increase of free radical but mainly who person who is taking very uh, who's um, means who working in a very a bad environment or very polluted environment and who is taking uh, who is smoking a lot of a lot of uh, smoking on the time free radical can be uh, increased on the body now we'll discuss that how free radical will we can say damage our uh, body so let's talk about some chemistry that free radical actually it's a unpaired electron unpaired electron So actually it's unpaired so it's unstable so it's tried to pair due to the stabilization and whenever it's stabilized then it's a, we can say it can live uh, in normal way. So the, due to the unpaired electron is tried to pair and try to bind to the some other it need one electron it have one electron that's one pair so it need one more electron due to the pair due to the stabilization. So let's talk about that this is the for example this is the bacteria and bacteria has obviously cell membrane so from the it, it has on electron so the free radical will take electron from the bacteria and then it's take part or we can say it's a stabilized and whenever it's a uh, we can say bind in the cell membrane and the stabilize it kills the bacteria because free radical will go inside the bacteria and increase the cell permeability it will go inside it bind to the dna and then bacteria will die or bacteria will destroy like that they're doing function in the normal condition means we can say on those conditions on the time free radical will not affect the body it's just affected the pathogen which is surviving in the human body on the on that time now we'll discuss that how unpaired electron or how free radical will try to uh, destroy our human our human cell our healthy human cell so let's talk about that this is the for example any cell let's talk that this is the neuron cell neuron cell so in the neuron cell this is the membrane obviously it is made by the lipid membrane this is the lipid membrane so during the metabolization actually the lipid membrane have poly unsaturated fatty acid or we can say PUFA the shortcut poly unsaturated fatty acid so whenever free radical will move in the body so it will take electron from the PUFA poly unsaturated fatty acid so one electron it will take from it there this is the left point this electron so free and let's talk uh, will represent electron from the point so this point will come here and this point will bind to the each other because one electron is take from the polyunsaturated fatty acid which present in the normal healthy uh, cell membrane and after the bind it will after the uh, bind to the electron which take from the uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid he will generate lipid peroxidation will occur lipid peroxidation lipid peroxidation after the binding and actually lipid peroxidation will increase permeability of the cell membrane so increase permeability of cell membrane cell membrane 
and after the increased permeability of the cell membrane, the free radical can easily to go inside the cell due to the increase the permeability. And after that, it binds to the DNA. And now the DNA under the free radical. DNA will not uh, create the function by the uh, normal function. Means it has to maintain the cell membrane. It has to maintain the uh, synthesize or uh, we can say replicate. Now it performed by the free radical. Whatever want the free radical, they can handle by the on self because it now it's caught all the cell membrane under the free radical. And now this types of uh, now this types of is start to damaging the cell cell membrane of the neuron cell. So just I give the example of the neuron cell. It uh, the free radical can be damaged all types of cell by the, this mechanism. So that's why. This is the very, we can say, toxic molecule or toxic element that it should be caught by the vitamin E or antioxidant. So now we'll understand that how vitamin E is the very important for the our body. Means, we can say antioxidant is very important. Actually, the antioxidant, antioxidant not uh, found in the vitamin E. It also found in the vitamin C, vitamin A and some other product. Now we will discuss about that some other uh, function. Free radical and reactive oxygen species. They both are the very dangerous element for the human body. Next, it's a prevent LDL oxidation. Means we can say LDL means due to the prevent the LDL oxidation, it can prevent the heart disease. Means atherosclerotic. Atherosclerotic. Uh, atherosclerotic. Let's talk atherosclerotic. Athero, uh, uh, atherosclerotic. What is this? This is the we can say during the uh, LDL increase the low density lipoprotein and it, it can plaque the. Let's. This is the arteries and its vessels. It plaque the there and due to formation of the plaque, the blood circulation will decrease. So, vitamin E means the antioxidant will, this fat will, uh, we can say, take and restore in the liver. Uh, so, we can say, uh, the, that way, that's why the name is the uh, LDL oxidation. They oxidize the, this fat. So, those persons suffering from heart disease, means who suffering from ather atherosclerosis, coronary heart disease, that is a very popular disease in all over the world. So, those persons can also prevent if the taking normal amount of the vitamin E or in a healthy person like like healthy persons whose normal amount of taking vitamin E 40% will decrease the heart rates uh, heart diseases due to the uh, this uh, functions next it's a participant in the heme synthesis so we can say it's very important vitamins during the uh, um, we can say in a pregnant lady because it's a, a take part in the heme synthesis and in some uh, also in a uh, older um, i mean um, old ages then next it's a also help in the skin glow that's why this vitamin also we can say that is the beauty vitamin because in the skin glow it's a lot of function in the skin glow along with the vitamin e also so we can say synergistic effect during the skin glow because vitamin e also maintain the mucous membrane and and uh, along with the vitamin A, uh, it uh, also try to uh, we can say stabilize a skin glow. Means whenever the wrinkle will happen and like the skin wrinkle on the time, this also can be help. How we will discuss in later. <coughs> it's protect the lipid, uh, protect the lipid membrane. How it's protect? Already I discussed that in the lipid area, the antioxidant will go on the free radical and it will give the on electron so for example this is the free radical and let's talk about that this is the antioxidant antioxidant so antioxidant have a lot of we can say obviously it's a structure so it's have electron so this antioxidant will give one electron to Free radical 
or we can say it's caught by the free radical and now the free radical will stabilize now no need to worry about the free radical because antioxidant will give one electron to the free radical and now free radical will stabilize so we can say stabilize now no no any problem so like that they perform the function antioxidant so that's why it's a protect the lipid membrane next it's also protect the liver especially some toxic substance like that carbon tetrachloride so carbon tetrachloride carbon tetrachloride is a very toxic uh, molecule so by this uh, this toxic molecule they protect liver i mean the antioxidant property protect by the uv ray ultraviolet ray as i said that the skin glow so due to this reason it protect by the uv ray also means who any person who's uh, working in the you know um, means open area which uh, where the uv rays directly expose the skin skin so that's where skin become burned because the excessive uv ray will expose in the skin produce more melanin and melanin will uh, we can say start the black of the skin um, increase the black the skin color that's a protect of the uv ray immunity it also responds in the immunity so in the old people if the lack of the vitamin e can lead to macular degeneration means blindness and blurred vision can be occur next allergy stabilizer not significantly role in a stab allergy stabilizer but it also act on the stab uh, allergy stabilizer protect drug side effects obviously as we know that the the drug si side effects our body liver and kidney is a major de detoxifier the drug along with the liver and kidney vitamin e also role in the drug side effects cellular respiration actually in a electron transport chain during the electron transport it take part in the cellular respiration next one in sexual activity obviously anti sterility activity so obviously we can understand that the, it has sexual uh, also it's help in a sexual uh, uh, sexual activity like in a main testosterone uh, testosterone and the uh, women estrogen the both hormone by protect by the antioxidant property now let's discuss about that and obviously these are the main major function along with this function also some other functions which can uh, do by the antioxidant now let's talk about first of all that deficiency of the vitamin e uh, already i said that antioxidant also obviously vitamin e have very important antioxidant properties but vitamin c vitamin a and some other compound if you talk about the particular vitamin so vitamin c and vitamin a also have antioxidant properties so we can say if the person will taking vitamin e along with the vitamin c or vitamin a so synergistic effect can be occur means they increase uh, the function by the other uh, other molecule means if you taking vitamin e along with the vitamin c so both can be uh, increase the antioxidant properties antioxidant functions so synergistic effect now uh, let's talk about the vitamin c deficiency deficiency first of all that actually the vitamin e deficiency is not very oftenly it's very rare means the source of the vitamin e let's first talk about the source of vitamin e then we'll talk about the deficiency so source of vitamin e first of all all types of oil all types of eating oil but especially such as soybean oil soybean oil then wheat gran oil so we can say that all types of oil is found 
विटामिन ई सोयाबीन ऑयल वेट ट्रेन ऑयल सनफ्लावर ऑयल एंड सम अदर ऑयल फर्स्ट देन ऑल टाइप ऑफ ग्रीन वेजिटेबल ऑल ग्रीन वेजिटेबल ऑल टाइप ऑफ ग्रीन वेजिटेबल लाइक ब्रोकली एंड कैलीफ्लावर ग्रीन ग्रीन कैलीफ्लावर एंड सम अदर मीन्स वी कैन से ऑल एग्रीकेटली और कलेक्टिवली द ऑल ग्रीन वेजिटेबल्स हैज विटामिन ई एज वेल इन सम अदर विटामिन ऑब्वियसली बट विटामिन ई ऑल्सो रिच अमाउंट इन द ऑल ग्रीन वेजिटेबल देन एग योक मिल्क इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द एनिमल सोर्सेज सो नॉट रिच अमाउंट दैन एनिमल सोर्सेज बट इन हॉर्स लीवर हॉर्स लीवर एंड कैटल very very rich amount of the vitamin e but as we know that the horse meat is not eating a lot of person very few person can be eat the horse liver uh, meat that's why the major source of the uh, vitamin e will take the we can say uh, we can take the normally that is the this oil and uh, uh, green vegetable yog elk and some other uh, sources so that's why we can say that this types of vegetable or this types of vitamin source we will eating every day means without oil we can't cook the any food that's why by the um, uh, oil vitamin e is already taking in every day that's why the deficiency of the vitamin e is very very rare because this types of uh, food will eat in a daily way in a daily because uh without green vegetable without uh, oil we cannot make the cook we cannot uh, uh we can say eat that's why vitamin e is uh, not uh, we can say uh, major problem or major deficiency but in some conditions means in some problem some other problem can lead to the vitamin e deficiency how let's talk about Uh, these are the uh, main source of the uh, vitamin e uh, along with this one also a lot of source can be it uh, take from the vitamin e deficiency deficiency first of all deficiency which types of other deficiency can lead to the vitamin e as we know that the vitamin e is a fat soluble vitamin so first problem that cystic fibrosis can lead to the vitamin e, e deficiency obviously not vitamin e deficiency all types of fat soluble vitamin and other except the fat uh, fat, uh, fat soluble vitamin other fat uh, soluble uh, component of fat soluble molecule can also be uh, uh, lack of that that molecule also that product then uh lack of bile obviously lack of the bile because bile is the emulsify the fat and without bile fat cannot be emulsified they cannot be absorbed then celiac disease celiac disease or we can say any intestinal disease we can uh, that can be lead to the decrease the absorption because without the stomach without the intestine the uh, any food cannot be absorbed because it help to the absorb after that uh we can say deficiency of the chylomicron defi sensi of chylomicron as we know that the chylomicron that is the lipo lipoprotein without that uh, chylomicron is the always it's from the intestine it's take the lipid take the fat and reach where the, wherever the need actually in the liver in the adipose tissue where they have to go so lack of the chylomicron can have lead to uh, uh we can say deficiency of the fat not in a vitamin e all types of fat so these four types of problem and some other uh, problem can be lead to but this four main problem can lead to the fat uh, fat uh, lack of the fat absorption or malabsorption 
and any person who suffer from this problem then which types of clinical manifestation develop if the vitamin E is lack not I'm talking about other vitamin due to this reason if the vitamin E will not because if the person is suffering from this problem how the vitamin E and how the fat soluble any fat substance can be absorbed so on the time if the vitamin E will less which types of clinical man manifestation can be appear or along with any person who is not problem this means the healthy person is not suffer from this problem and those person also can be suffer from vitamin E deficiency but it's a very very rare but if the suffer which types of clinical manifestation can be developed let's talk about clinical manifestation first of all let's talk about from the cell as i said that it's damaged the cell so let's talk about the you know if it damage the neuron cell so what can be first of all polyneuropathy because a lot of uh, a neuronal problem can be developed if the if any neuron will be damaged then anemia can be developed why anemia because it's help in the heme synthesis participate in the heme synthesis so without heme obviously anemia can be developed then hemolytic hemolysis can be happen hemolysis can be occur why hemolysis because in the cell in the rbc cell red blood cell in the outer upper layer that is the lipid by uh, lipid um, with, uh, make by the lipid bilayer lipid membrane so the free radical can be destroyed the lipid bilayer and uh, so this is when hemolysis can be occur uh, anemia actually during the pregnancy during the pregnancy it's very neat then a sterility can be happen sterility sterility or we can say infertility after that increase the heart disease increase the heart disease especially those person who already suffer from coronary heart disease or any heart disease that lead to like the cholesterol plaque the uh, ldl will accumulate on the arteries on those person very mention or we can say very have to take the vitamin e so on those person increase the heart disease one thing also i forget to mention that vitamin e also is take part obviously it's a ldl oxidation but it also increase the prostacyclin so let's there we mention increase prostacyclin prostacyclin actually what the two prostacyclin prostacyclin will increase the vessels wall or we can say dilated the vessel so any person means this is the normal vessels and this is the plaque so if they increase the prostacyclin now increase the this vessel so now the blood is uh, we can say going in a very frequent way so on that time the person can be uh, or patient can relax better so it uh, has also one among them all these properties uh, increase the prostacyclin increase the heart disease is not clinical manifestation then obviously muscles pain because in a muscle cell also made by the lipid bilayer so obviously muscles pain and due to this is an apoptosis can be ha happen apoptosis and in a very high lipid uh, amid free radical can lead to necrotic but these are the very rare very very rare there after that nausea vomiting that is a normal nausea vomiting but in due to the hemolysis due to the uh, hypovolemic shock because the bleeding is going on and hemolysis means the free moving the component of the rbc like heme uh, hemoglobin so that can be acidosis means the ph balance will be uh, in interruption that can lead to nausea and vomiting sometimes diarrhea also can be lead to after that uh sterility like testicular atrophy can be happen testicular atrophy 
one thing I also mentioned that during the penis erection, during the penile erection, on the time need more and more blood on the uh, whatever vessels present on the penis area. And free radical also move along with the blood. So on the time, the vitamin E or antioxidant will go and caught the free radical. That's why we can say during the testicular, that's why testicular atrophy uh, um, will occur or uh, the, during the penile erection, it can damage the muscles or muscle cell of the penis or um, uh, any, uh, we, uh, we can say genital organs. That's where the vitamin E or antioxidant very important in the sexual activity. So these are the main clinical manifestations can be occur and uh, some other problem like the bone weakness this obviously this problem can be um, occur uh, whenever the vitamin E will increase I mean decrease so these are the main clinical manifestations but I also said that these are the normally very rare only when the those uh, problem which like cystic fibrosis lack of the bile and uh, deficient of the cal I mean the calomicron and the celiac disease or any intestinal disease any stomach disease which can lead to the decreased absorption those problems can lead to this type of clinical manifestation Uh, the, uh, as I said that the free radical uh, which uh, and the reactive oxygen species are uh, stabilized by the alpha tocopherol and one also that is the nitrogen nitrogen reactive species or we can say N O N R S this is one of the other element, other uh, we can say molecule that is present uh, that can if you increase this uh, this uh, nitrogen uh, reactive species that can lead to the stomach cancer which present in the stomach mucosa. So actually this element will caught by gamma tocopherol, gamma tocopherol mainly means the nitrosum minus stress will created will happen and uh, uh, will lead to the stomach cancer so gamma tocopherol also take part and this caught with this uh, element now we'll discuss about the the normal amount normal dietary chart so diet for infant four to six mg per day and uh, four to six M mg uh, per day or we can say for the child six to eight mg a day For adult person, approximately 15 mg per day. But if we talk about the normal daily consumption, daily amount, approximately 10 to 12 mg a day. This value is not, uh, we can say, exactly matter because in some uh, author, in some books have given different, different types of value. Maybe some books is written 5 to 8, 5 to 6. But these are the approximately that have to take the person. So these all the information already I said that this uh, all types of uh, problem and all types of functions of the vitamin E. Now, one thing always remember that vitamin E is not, we can say, huge problem or the person is uh, you will not listen that the person will suffer from the vitamin E uh, in a normal person who have not any internal problem like the liver problem and uh, cystic fibrosis and some other celiac disease and calomicron problem why because the person will 
normally can be taken in every day by the food because this oil, vitamin is the excessive amount present in the oil and without oil they cannot make the cook so like that they can uh, we can say mm, taking the vitamin E but those persons suffering from severely this types of problem that can lead to the vitamin E deficiency vitamin E always uh, vitamin E is also is uh, will use like an indication like in a pharmacology so how it's used in the indication let's talk about then finish the vitamin E So, in psoriasis, psoriasis can be used vitamin E, like in a lotion, lotion form, in acne, or in skin scab, skin scab, or maybe surgical scab. very helpful of for the skin glowing then in a stretch mark in the after the after the post pregnancy uh, pregnant stretch mark stretch mark means after the pregnant uh, pregnancy that lady have a uh, lower part of the uh, abdomen scratch uh, stretch mark so uh, uh, we can say treatment of the vitamin e or antioxidant is helpful so these four types of indications can be treated as a vitamin E and also it's a prevent the uh, lot of types of the cancer uh, why the prevent the cancer already said due to the free radical because free radical can be damaged a lot of problem not in a can be start the cancer it can be damaged because it's uh, whenever the free radical will bind to the any any DNA any cells of the DNA they will perform whatever they want they, uh, they will perform by the own uh, by self so the normal function will they, that cell will not perform and they will start the lot of problem so these all types of this all in information about the vitamin E that uh, we should know so in next time we'll finish the fat soluble vitamin that is the discuss about the vitamin K and then we'll start the water soluble vitamin so till then take care and uh, try to take normal amount of the vitamin E thank you so much